The holidays are coming up, and for some that might mean more wine consumption. Today we're going to talk about how to clean up your wine game so you don't feel so crummy afterwards. At some point or another, most of us have experienced that not so great feeling that we get from maybe drinking a little too much wine, and most of us will attribute that to too much alcohol. Yes, that is definitely um, one of the reasons that you could feel crummy, but conventional wines are full of extra additives and chemicals um, to help make them more stable, and that could be part of the problem. Back in the day, wines used to just be made with naturally fermented grapes. It's not the case anymore, you guys. Now, we add a bunch of chemicals and additives to our wines to help improve the taste, the flavor, the texture, and the shelf life. Did you know that there are 76 chemicals and additives that the FDA have currently approved for your conventional wines that they don't, winemakers don't even have to put on the ingredient labels? That scares me. So when you go to bed at night, that's when your body likes to do all of its detoxing. Detoxing from food and beverage and environmental things, you know, all of the, the extra chemicals and things that we may um, consume or be exposed to throughout the day. So your liver specifically is what has to do a lot of the detoxing, especially when it comes to wines. So if you're drinking conventional wines that have a lot of extra additives and chemicals in them, your body has to work extra hard. Your liver has to work extra hard while you're sleeping to try to detox that. So when you overindulge with some of these chemicals and things, your liver gets kind of bogged down and it can't really catch up. That's why we wake up with a hangover after drinking too much, whether it be from alcohol or the other added chemicals and things that are in wines. So what are all these things that they're putting into wines? Well, sulfites are the biggest one. They're the biggest culprit for causing um, your liver to be kind of bogged down with the extra stuff that we have to process at night. So sulfites, you know, they're a preservative. They are, they're there, they're put into wine to keep the, the microbes down, right? To keep your wine from spoiling and be able to put it on the shelf and leave it there for years on end. But again, you're putting that into your body and it's just more stuff for your body to process. So. Sulfites do occur naturally in the fermentation process, and that's okay. Those are naturally occurring, right? They're not added in. So no wine is allowed to say sulfite free because that wouldn't be true. Um, but when you're shopping for cleaner versions of wine, you wanna look for the wines that have on the label somewhere contains no added sulfites or no detectable sulfites. That's what you're looking for when it comes to cleaner wines. Conventional wines also have a lot of added sugars that helps with fermentation. A lot of times they'll put in some grape juice concentrate to help improve the depth of color. Um, a lot of times you'll find gums in there to improve the texture. Um, oftentimes you'll find antimicrobials to help keep the, the bacteria down. Acids, oak flavorings, you guys, the list goes on and on. All this stuff is just extra burden for your body. So I talked to a lot of people about wine and what they like and dislike about it, and most people say that they don't like the way they feel after they have a couple glasses of it, right? It could be right after they drink it, it could be the next morning with that horrible hangover that we've all experienced at one point or another. So then I tell people about wines that are made with no added sulfites and additives and chemicals and things, and all of a sudden it's a game changer, right? The hangover goes away because you don't have that extra burden of the, on the body with all of those additives and chemicals. So if you start drinking these cleaner wines, you might notice that you don't have those ill effects like the hangover, the brain fog, the, you know, the mental clarity issues, and just kind of feeling yuck. So I'm gonna quickly run you through some of my favorite finds when it comes to cleaner wines. So the newest one kind of on the market that's, that's really growing quickly um, is Fitvine. Fitvine is um, a cleaner wine, again, no added sulfites. Um, it's got lower sugar content, lower alcohol content than most conventional wines. Um, this one, you can see by the label, it's kind of cute. They've got a little runner on the front. Um, it's kind of geared towards the CrossFitters of the world, which is cool. Um, but they have got a, a lot of different varietals to choose from, and it actually tastes really good. Um, another one that I like is Frey. Um, this one's been around for a while, and they've got quite a few. One of them is a biodynamic one, which is great. That's just a way that they grow the grapes. Um, Pacific Redwood, um, this is also um, a really great tasting wine. They've got a Chardonnay, and I think this is a Pinot. I wanna say they have a different red as well, but again, great tasting, um, cleaner versions, right? Uh, Badger Mountain, um, this one I've had a couple times. This is the Cabernet, and then we've got a Spartaco. Um, this one even says no, contains no detectable sulfites. Um, a lot of these are blends too. And then this is a Pizzolato. Um, 
And all these, you guys, I've, I've found locally at like Total Wines, at Sprouts, at Whole Foods. So there is a good variety out there in common grocery stores. You just have to look for them. Another option when it comes to buying cleaner wines, um, if you go through a lot of wine and you don't always want to make it to the store and search through all the bottles, you can just order it online, you guys. There's a really great company out there called Dry Farm Wines. Um, they've got a website, dryfarmwines.com. And all their wines, um, their grapes are all grown from uh, all over Europe, actually. And they are the cleanest wines I've ever had and the best tasting. They've got so many different varieties and they are a membership only type of thing. So you just kind of have to sign up for one of those, you know, wine of the month club type things. And uh, you get six bottles a month. I think it's $159. Um, you can pick and choose if you want reds or whites every now and then they have a big box of rosés kind of in the summertime, but it's really delicious wine that you can't find in stores. Um, and their whole claim to fame is, yes, they're very low sulfites. So in the US, the limit on sulfites, just to give you some perspective here, is 350 parts per million. All of the wines from Dry Farm Wines um, contain no more than 20 parts per million. You guys, there's more sulfites in like dried fruit, like dried apricots and raisins than what's in, in their wines. Um, their sugar content is always under one gram of sugar per liter. Uh, their alcohol content is always under 12 and a half percent. And um, they've got no other you know, additives and mycotoxins and things like that. So it really is a great find if you can't find all of this stuff in stores, you don't want to search for it. That's our rundown of clean wines today. You guys remember, clean wines means a healthier, happier holiday season. So in the comments below, I would love to see what yummy clean wines you have found in stores, or if you try the dry farm wines, let me know. Tell me how it makes you feel. Tell me which ones you like the best. We'll see you guys next time.